This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. I'm standing here with Kelly from New Hampshire, who is, uh, you've got a new talk show, a new libertarian talk show out of New Hampshire, or at least it's relatively new. Yeah, we've been uh, Sex, Lies, and Anarchy. We've been releasing episodes since June. And we are a show about the social side of libertarianism. There are plenty of talk shows out there about, you know, libertarian philosophy, but many of them focus a lot on um, politicians and current events, and they're more or less news shows. We're more interested in the social side of libertarianism and how the libertarian philosophy affects our lives, our relationships, our experiences, and our perceptions of the world. Now, at this point, is it just on the internet, or do you have uh, anybody that's carrying you on the air? No, no, we've been uh, building it from scratch, and uh, you can subscribe via iTunes, Podomatic, or um, you can go directly onto our website, sexsliesanarchy.com, and subscribe to our RSS feed. Well, and you, you, the, the show is uh, three or four ladies that they, they, they do not have radio faces. I think we should put it that way. You're all pretty. Oh, oh <laughs> you're all you're all these beautiful women hosting a, a libertarian show. It's not common. So are you saying we should have a webcam? Yes, exactly. <laughs> we, we, yeah, I don't. The <clears throat> thing is, we uh, record in our subterranean lair deep beneath the sunny, thriving metropolis of Manchester, New Hampshire, and it's kind of super secret. So we don't really want to do a webcam because then we'd be giving away our surroundings. Well, that's true. That's true. Um, the um, uh, secure, undisclosed location. Yes. Right. But when they raid the Free Talk Live studios, they won't get you. Nope. We'll still be around. Is there a plan to try and get it on like mainstream radio stations or anything like that? I think uh, I think that's probably in our future as long as we keep doing it. We uh, we're we're new at this. You know, we're kind of amateurs, but. Um, we're slowly gaining experience, and eventually, yeah, I think that uh, you might be able to find us um, on the airwaves. What kind of, what, how do you fill a niche that's different? Because there's quite a bit of libertarian talk radio coming out mm-hmm. of New Hampshire now. So how do you differentiate? Well, one of the things that I really want to do with the show, and we've done somewhat, is uh, I, th- I feel like many libertarian shows kind of oversimplify you know, life, and they kind of package the libertarian philosophy as it's sort of black and white, and uh, really, you know, humanity, the human experience is very complex, and I feel like a lot of shows don't really appreciate the complexity and the difficulty that it is being a libertarian. So that's something that Sex, Lies, and Anarchy strives to do is challenge a lot of uh, overly simplistic libertarian ideas. Um, what would you say is the um, the main thing that folks can do to help your show succeed? Uh, listen to us, and if you like us, then you know like us on Facebook. We do have a Facebook group. But what I personally really like are um, conversations, discussions on our website. You can you know if you listen to a show and you have you know you vehemently disagree with something that we're saying, or if you think that you know we're we're dead on. Um, I love it when people go onto the website and comment. How New Hampshire-centric are you? That's the thing that I find myself wanting that I'm not getting out of most radio, even Free Talk Live, not sufficiently New Hampshire-centric for me. Well, as, as I said, we're not a current events show. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not going to say that something that's going on in the world isn't going to factor into our shows, but um, I do. we do strive to be a, applicable and accessible to people who are not part of the Free State community, but yeah. because we are all part of the Free State Project, because we all live here in New Hampshire, inevitably it comes up a lot, and we do discuss you know, what is going on here and um, the good and the bad. So, yeah, I'd say we're probably fairly uh, free state centric. I mean, I guess that one problem that comes up pretty frequently uh, on your show, I have not listened as much as I should. I'll get into the habit eventually, especially if you're New New Hampshire centric. Um, But um, probably like how to relate to family members that don't see eye to eye with us on our thinking. Mm -hmm. Does that come up a lot? Okay. That's that, that. That is exactly the sort of stuff that I want to talk about on the show. When we do, we did have an episode um, a month or so ago. It was um, the impetus of the episode came from a listener who was who is going to be moving here to New Hampshire, and she, you know, wanted a, to hear a discussion on how do we explain our crazy radical views, especially those of us who are going to be uprooting our lives and moving to 
uh, to New Hampshire for a, a, an idea, a philosophy, how do you sell that or at least explain to family members and friends why you're doing that? So we did have an episode where we discussed that. I hope in the future we will you know, explore that even further. Definitely. What is a, a solution you can think of that would work inside a family for you know making like a win-win solution for the libertarian in the family and the authoritarian in the family? Are you sorry? Are you asking um, what would what what are my ideas for um, explaining the libertarian philosophy, or so what are my uh, ideas for explaining why someone want, would want to uproot their lives and move to New Hampshire? It's not so much for explaining yourself as just for coming to an accommodation. There's a lot of times there's conflict within a family over ideology. Mm -hmm. How what do you, what can you think of as a way that a liberty person in a family can come to an accommodation, a win-win accommodation with the authoritarians in their family? Well, I, I, I'm not sure how you would fully convince someone of the philosophy of liberty. That's not I, what I'm talking about. I'm just I talking about getting along with them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, something that libertarians do a lot is they kind of um, group everyone who is not a libertarian. And this is some libertarians I see. They group anyone who is not a libertarian into the same category and then they apply the term statist to them. And that's just, I, I think that humans are very complex. There are some people who really do believe in the state, but most people who are not libertarians yet they just they haven't had their eyes open or they or, or maybe you have explained it to them very well but you haven't explained it often enough i mean they have this huge uh, most people just have years upon years of uh, i don't want to say indoctrination but for lack of a better term you know pro state indoctrination and it takes patience but not marginalizing them and not labeling them all as statists even if in your mind maybe you think that they kind of are yeah. Okay. That sounds like a, that sounds like one of the few win-win solutions I've actually heard on the Red Alert Report, despite as many times as I've asked that question. So, okay. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Kelly. Thank you so much. Good luck Dave. with your show, sir. Flyzanarchy.com. <laughs> what are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.